very amazing woman. Um, she's 85 now, and my father died uh, 10 years ago. My, my father died when she was 75, and they used to do a lot of charity work together, and, and, and she stopped doing that when my father died, because there were a lot of things they did together that she, she simply couldn't do, and she decided to change that. So when she was 76, she ran her first marathon. At the age of 76, she did the London Marathon. Um, and 10 years on, for the first time, I, I wrote for my mother a poem about my father on his deathbed. And it was inspired by, by Dylan Thomas's rage, Do Not Go Gentle. Um, I remember when my father went into hospital, very close to his end. Uh, my, my mum was very worried. She would sit at his bedside and he wasn't conscious, but she would spend all day telling him the tales about how they met and when they were courting and how they used to dance. Um, but she was very concerned and, and she asked me to go and talk to the doctors. So I went to talk to the doctor and I said, look, my mum is really worried because she thinks my dad is coming to hospital to die. And, and you know, I want to reassure her. And the look the doctor gave me let me know that that's exactly what was happening. So I had to go and tell my mother that that was what was happening. And the doctor said, we don't know why he's still alive. We really don't. You know, this man is hanging on, you know. Uh, but we knew it was because my mum didn't want him to go. And so I had to tell her, you have to let him go. So 10 years later, this is the poem for my mother. It's called, Went Gently. The sailor with a head full of fire Dancing on Mumble's pier and scaling heights. So fragile now, man of stick in linen. I tease you, I want to make you mad. I want to see you double up with foolish hoots. But you are raging, and I do not know. Raging, raging like a red dwarf. Oh, my father, you have given me the hardest task. To stop blazing, a blessing is required. I have to tell my mother let you go. And so an Indian summer's kiss gently opens your eyes for a last smile as you pass to me a duty to protect your wife. And she now, living fire, burns, burns like flaming June. June is my mother's name. <laughs>